As college basketball coaches go, Wendy Larry's legacy in Virginia is unmatched. The Bloomingdale, New Jersey native and Old Dominion University alum, she took over the Lady Monarchs in 1987 and over the next quarter of a century led ODU to an unprecedented run of success. She would win 559 games total as head coach of the Lady Monarchs and starting in 1992, ODU would win 17 consecutive Colonial Athletic Association championships, the longest such stretch in NCAA history. 20 times, Larry's ODU teams would participate in the NCAA tournament, advancing to the Final Four and championship game in 1997. In total, Larry registered 608 wins over 28 seasons and was named Coach of the Year in three different leagues, including eight times in the CAA. Nine of Wendy's former players would go on to play professionally in the WNBA, including Virginia Sports Hall of Fame inductee Ticha Penacharo. Active in the Hampton Roads community with organizations such as Habitat for Humanity and Race for the Cure in Hampton Roads, she was named the Hampton Roads Professional Woman of the Year in 2000. And the big question, will she have a towel draped over her shoulder tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome for induction into the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame, the coach, Wendy Larry. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I was told that we had about eight to 10 minutes to address you this evening. I really do hope the odds are in your favor <laughs> um, because tip time for the second game is 8.49. And for those of you that don't already know, it is the NCAA Final Four weekend. <laughs> It's interesting we have an event like this. On a... It's okay. And uh, kind of like pr uh, Trump's chief of staff, I promise not to keep you too long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I believe that today is a celebration for a lot of us. In my case, a celebration of tradition that lived within the Lady Monarch basketball program for many, many years. Thank you. Tradition is a wonderful gift. It's made up of everyone that was part of it, that believed in it, and made a commitment to continue it. I would personally like to thank Eddie and Will and the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame Committee for believing that my body of work was worthy of this prestigious honor. And to the presenting sponsor, Dennis, Priority Auto, Auto Group, and my Virginia Beach City, and all the additional sponsors and individuals here this evening that really have worked tirelessly to make this weekend's events possible, thank you very much. I am truly humbled to have my name added to the list of all the former Sports Hall of Fame inductees, some of which are here this evening with us, and of course, you know, Graham over here, <laughs> and be in the company of my accom accomplished classmates. My personal congratulations to Ruben, to Jeff, to Heath, to Mark's family, and to Buster. A special acknowledgement to my professional colleagues and my personal friends, Debbie and Tom. 
kind of a family reunion of sorts, isn't it? <laughs> we are here tonight for lots of different reasons. Some have to do with us, and some have to do with the individuals that had an incredible impact on us throughout our lives. In my world, it started with my grandparents, and I had four wonderful ones, and they taught me right from wrong, how to say please and thank you, and they loved me unconditionally. And they also made me believe that I could be anything that I wanted to be as a little girl. My father, Hugh, a former Marine residing in Arlington National Cemetery, set the example of routine and discipline. He did teach me how to uh, use a screwdriver and make a pretty good one, too. I know that my dad is really proud tonight. <laughs> my mother, my current housemate, up on the hill, hi Virginia, was a school teacher and has always been my biggest cheerleader, offering both encouragement and consolation appropriately. However, she did ask me the other day what March Madness was all about. <laughs> I love you very much, Virginia, and I'm so glad you're here with me to share this honor tonight. My sisters Donna and Mary Ellen are in the house, and their families have been supporters of my career choice and the teams that I've coached. And like Jeff mentioned, they've been forgiving and tolerant of my absence from lots of family events. I'm appreciative of their efforts to drive down from New Jersey and celebrate with, with me this evening. My high school coach, Marge Giles, has shared her wisdom and her guidance with me for over 45 years. It's very important that I acknowledge my three athletic directors, Don Forsyth from Virginia Wesleyan College, Cedric Dempsey from the University of Arizona, and especially Dr. Jim Jarrett of Old Dominion University. In 1987, Jim took a chance on me, and more importantly, for your vision, Jim, and your commitment to women's basketball and women's athletics at Old Dominion. He was a true trendsetter in athletic equity. I've had many coaching mentors, Coach Purnell, Coach Olson, Coach Williams, Coach Webb, Coach Sharp, Coach Anders, and the brilliant coaching mind of Mary Ann Stanley, another Hall of Famer. Most of these coaches believed that winning was always really, really, really important, but having the edge by preparing daily was critical. There is a reason they call it chasing your dreams and not walking after them. I've had the privilege of teaching the game I love for well over 30 years. If you want to go on a long trip, go by yourself. But if you want to go on a long, successful trip, go with others. Most successful head coaches have had a significant number of loyal, dedicated, trustworthy, smarter, prettier, determined assistant coaches. I am no exception. Some of them are here tonight with me. And I count those people as significant players in the continuity and success of the Lady Monarch basketball program. We all know it takes a village to give a program life. It's the office assistants like Annette, the bus drivers like Bob, The managers, and there are several here tonight, I know Leslie's here, I know Mud's here, I know Throcky's here. Um, the academic advisors, the trainers, I know Terry's here, the Dobos, strength trainers, SIDs, assistant athletic directors, I think Mickey Flowers Bale is in the house, um, who work behind the scenes and who have spent countless hours for the good of the cause and were a vital part of our entire successful operation. It was the radio announcers, the beat writers, the facility directors, the ushers, 
and the Sunday stars that made it very, very special. To the hundreds of dedicated women that wore the Lady Monarch uniform and were committed to our tradition of excellence, I will always be in your debt. Superstars are superstars, and we certainly had our fair share. But I'm also very, very proud of you, the role player, the team leader, the team player that developed your skills over the course of your career and made all the difference in our teams. Individuals make plays. Teams win championships. A heartfelt thanks to our wonderful fans, particularly the Lady Monarch Pride, and the Lady Monarch Golf Committee for all their tremendous fundraising efforts. Judy and Jerry specifically, I know, are in the house. <laughs> Commissioner McGlade and the Atlantic 10 Conference, thank you for allowing me to be a, sh a small part of your team and for teaching this old dog new tricks. Winning is fun, sure, but winning is not the point. Wanting to win is the point. Preparing to win is the point. Not giving up is the point. Never being satisfied with what you have done is the point. The game really truly is never over. It does not end when you walk off the court. The secret of the game is doing your best to persist and, in and endure. And I'm not just talking about the game. I'm talking about life. Life is a game. Success comes much easier when others have faith in your performance. To my very, very, very special friends, the family I have chosen with my heart, some of you serve, some of you teach, some of you lead, some of you are champions, and some of you are great drinkers, I mean thinkers. <laughs> And some of you are all of the above. <laughs> Most of all, you are here with me this evening. I'm indebted to you for loving me, for believing in me, and for being my friend. I'm so grateful for the thrilling win wins and the unfortunate heartfelt losses. But most importantly, what I cherish the most are the relationships that have been forged, the people that I worked with, every day in my coaching career, and my coaching colleagues that were opponents and later became my good friends, and certainly the players that I coached over all these years. I do dedicate this award to each and every one of you. God bless you, and thank you again for this incredible honor.